Okay, so it's time to check something out. Right here. This was gonna be called Mighty Calf, but it's more like Mini Calf. It's something I'm working on now for a couple days. And this is a shell made from acrylic. And it has to be it has to be joined using acrylic a type of acrylic bonder that basically welds the parts together gives it a lot of strength makes joining parts a little bit difficult but if they're joined right you can grind it sand it file it and so far it is it, it's held up pretty good and then by roughing it up um, I should be able to get paint to take to it but this is just a mock-up of a test of, of how we're going to do this. So we've been laying it out over here. And then looking at Mr. Helper here. Or Mr. Helper sits down at the end of the yard. And he is there in case another locomotive needs help. Gives him about 25% more power. So now one of the parts of this contest is if you were to take something like this a cow and a calf that can be entered as a single entry as a single locomotive so that's something that uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna try and do that uh, it's just, it's an extra chance to to uh, get some extra points so what I've been doing is I've been taking measurements and we know this being an Atherin does not have scale with hood probably this one also being an atherin does this is an mp15 or sw 1500 i forgot what and i needed to find out could i make an acrylic shell because these walls are pretty thick on here could i make one and get get close to a better scale with hood and still have room to put all the stuff in motor and trucks and things and I think we're closing in on that's probably true. Now, one of the things I noticed, I laid this out basically by laying down a frame here on the paper, tracing around it, and then measuring out what I thought how a calf shell would fit on. And I chose the calf because it's the easiest one since there's no cab to make. There's just this little end with its little cutout here for a tiny control panel. That's pretty narrow right there. And it's smaller than Mr. Helper here. Mr. Helper is actually bigger. And so we can we can definitely make one of these bigger. Now I've got this. This is a Proto 2000, I think. And this, I do believe, is a scale width hood. I measured it. And it measures upright. And we are the same width as that. So that's... That's looking good. That that uh, means that we're on the right track. But we had to make it in order to find out would it be possible to sand it, file it, grind it without it coming apart every time. Can it stand up to vibration? Can it stand up to the big file? Um, and if I do sand it, will I get a nice edge on it? And I do like the way this is shaped out. Uh, forming the acrylic. I was concerned that... It was too square before I started before I started sanding it and grinding it. I thought, ah, there's no way. It's gonna always gonna look square. It's never gonna look rounded like like these do. That that turned out not to be true. It shapes very nicely. And you see me clean windows before and polish up old beat up windows for locomotives and how nice they've turned out that is totally possible with this we don't really we're not trying to make this look uh, glassy again because we, we've got to find a way to get paint to stick to it and acrylic is notorious for not allowing paint to stick to it unless you use some pretty nasty primer that I don't want to use that uh, is also quite thick now I did a little scribing in the side of some doors and some features. That 
when I put this in there, I, I realized I had a problem laying it out that I'd end up cutting out the doors instead of actually scrying them in there. And then so I made graphics of doors and I put those on there and engraved them. And that also did not work out. But then I remembered something. I've got, I've got the lab books. When I do the next one, what I'm going to do instead of cutting, I'll cut all the body parts out again. But instead of cutting, see, I got a nice small cutout here for a sand filler. And I got a nice cutout here for, for say, a brake lever. These doors, I could cut at about half power and it wouldn't cut all the way through. And I'd have nice scribed inset lines. And we'll talk more about why, why to do that uh, later. But this is our first test, and it has turned out that we are on the right track. And this is, I think it's going to look pretty good. And I was able to get my calf engraved on there. That's not bad, and I can make that deeper, no problem. We're on the right track. We are getting close to being able to start making making some uh, good quality shells here. And the cool thing is I can make as many of these as I want now. Now that I've made all the patterns, um, I could just like make these as long as I still got acrylic. But we've got to be able to start making modular parts to join to make our our five different locomotives. All right, so that's where we're at, and it's looking good. We've got it. We actually have a usable shell right now. I could actually use this if I wanted to. All right, it's time to get back to work. <laughs> 